You, sir, you said, the inquiry's priority is to discover the truth. How can the inquiry purport to do that when it is closing down the opportunities for it to receive evidence from affected individuals and from the public? Who are the 219 non-state core participants? The vast majority have been granted core participant status by the inquiry because they were spied on as a result of their direct, indirect, or perceived connection to political or social justice campaigning activity, be it against war, racism, inequality, police wrongdoing, animal cruelty, the destruction of the environment, the abuse of corporate power, or the exploitation of workers. Others were simply victimized because they demanded justice or challenged a false police narrative or because of institutional racism and sexism in the police. The inquiry's approach to the restriction of cover names and its refusal to publish photographs of undercover officers and the names of all the groups that were spied upon mean that many of those who have relevant evidence to give will simply not know to come forward. Time and time again, we have come up against it, either being stonewalled or finding the ground shift beneath us, or just being denied basic consideration around disclosure. The constant prioritizing of police needs over hours exacerbates the pain we all feel. The refusal of the MPS to release all the cover names of officers means that those officers' assertions relating to their conduct will go unchallenged by those on whom they were spying. In the last decade, I have spoken to over 150 people who have been targeted. I know how far and deep the emotional scars of this scandal go. Campaigning is hard enough, causes enough burnout and trauma in itself without knowing there are those working alongside you to directly undermine all you are seeking to achieve. The horror of sharing intimate moments and times when you put your life on the line, literally in some cases, with someone who is betraying you. I can attest how deep scarring goes. All the women need to be shown by this inquiry that it recognises and that it appreciates what they are going through in order to help this inquiry get to the truth. They need it to press ahead with disclosure and not keep them waiting any longer. And to this end, they seek full disclosure of all records on file about them and of any and all policies or references to intimate sexual relationships by these units.